We are here at the Tech Mahindra Global Chess League. We have a star next to me that is Humpy. How are you? Humpy? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, okay. Today we had a very interesting match. <laughs> yeah, a very interesting match of Grab Mamba Masters here. One of the greats of the team. Now, Humpy, tell us a little bit about your experience with the Tech Mahindra Global Chess League. How do you feel about it in the format? Yeah, this is a very interesting format, I would say, because playing the same color in every board. Right. And also the first of the tournament, like we were very uncertain of what color we will play uh, until the uh, half an hour. Right. Um, so it's quite different and also the scoring system, whereas uh, if yeah. black wins, we'll get more, more points. points. Right. So it's tricky, I would say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely I think after this year, uh, you know, Ornes will be getting plenty of new ideas yeah, to organize yeah. <laughs> different tournaments with more fun. And especially here, the team is like very friendly team. Like right. we used to have, uh, we are having a regular dinners together and we chat a lot. Irrespective of their results, we support each other. I think uh, uh, I would say we, we are the best team. Uh, uh, I consider our team as the best. Yeah, uh, yeah. Here, here first, you got the best team. <laughs> the best team of Grab Mamba Masters. You can yeah. see it there on the shirt. You just had a big game. Yeah. Right? How do you feel about that game? Uh, well, uh, we missed many opportunities in the tournament so far. There were several times like we were very close yeah. to winning, but then mm -hmm. towards the end, we slipped it out. Right. Yeah, morning round was a bit disaster, like when we lost three games. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm happy that we came back very strongly. Very good, very good. All right, I have another question for you. This is for everyone. They want to know, of course, you were the second youngest grandmaster as a woman to hit it before, after Judith Pogar. That's huge, absolutely. People look up to you all over the globe. Uh, a little bit about how that happened and what can you give to others watching today to inspire them? Yeah, I became a grandmaster in 2002. And uh, I was very much inspired by Judith Polgar. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. I did it too. Um, wow. I, you know, from my younger days, I always wanted to be like her, and wow. she was my inspiration. So I'm happy to beat her uh, <laughs> world record and become the youngest one. Yeah. But I think time has changed a lot now. We have a lot of grandmasters, and you know, by 12, everybody like the right. talented one now becoming grandmasters by 12 so right. 15 is too late nowadays yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so i think trend has changed and um, we have more opportunities as well right but yeah i i'm also happy that i had done a little bit to inspire uh, women chess as well wow you have done more than a little <laughs> bit of course right one more thing for of course women in chess what can you give them for, to keep going and get better and you know look up to you and things like that yeah, I think it's important to always fight with the uh, men players. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Fight them and don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid Especially of the when they are young, uh, it's more important that they work along with the men players and they play more tournaments where yeah. men compete. So I think that would help them to improve their game. Compete against the men, beat them, and just play the board. <laughs> this is Humpy. Guys, we'll see you soon.